This morning we are at the Marshall X Stadium in Benque Viejo and we see the activity with the young boys here. We're going to be talking with police officer Michelle Pullman who is going to explain to us the details of this summer camp. Okay, and I am Michelle Pullman, like Mr. Chilin rightfully said. On Monday, we kicked off our first ever football summer camp here in Benguevia Town. This program was organized by Community Oriented Policing Unit officers from Benguevia, along with Mr. Geraldo Rancheran, who is a citizen of Benguevia as well. This um, camp started on Monday with a total of 87 children that led to a total of 18 all categories. We have ages from 6 to 9 years old and from 10 to 14 years old that are participating. We have, um, the children are from Benkebeho town itself and the surrounding village in which includes Suffolk's village. So today we have games that are being played by um, Belize, Team Belize and Team Erka from Suffolk's. This is the first game, ages six to nine years old, and this will follow by another game, which will be with kids from age 10 to 14, which will be um, Ercas versus um, the other team, Belize, I guess that's the name as well. Yeah, so this program was organized as a part of community programs to have the kids have something positive to be doing during the summer. So this, like I said, is the first ever, and I'm happy to say that we have a lot of participants. 87 children is quite a number for this area, and um, this is the second day of this camp. So we, we are going to um, have another week, because this should conclude on the 19th of this month, where they will be awarded. We have two offices for first, second, and um, third places for both categories. And whichever team get to be the champion, their players will get an individual medal as well. So these teams consist of males and females? Yes, the teams are mixed. We have both males and females on both teams in both categories as well. And the team that is coming up next, um, that team have um, mostly female, it seems to me, on the game that was played on Monday because I saw at least four females in that team. So, yes, we do encourage the um, summer program to be played by both male and female. We didn't want anyone to be left out or felt left out because these are all kids and we're trying to get unity. And in unity, we do need both sex, male and female. So for that reason, we invited both male and female to participate in our summer program. And this is a way to keep the kids doing something good, getting positive. them out of trouble, right? Exactly, positive and active. And here in Benke, we know that Benke is, um, I would say, the home of Verdes. And this is a place that football is well loved. So for that reason, we decided to do a, this football program or summer camp that will be held every year starting this year. And it is something that we plan to get bigger as the years pass by. What will be your message to the parents who are collaborating with this program? Well, those parents who are collaborating, I would like to really extend a, a warm welcome and thank you to them as well, because without them, this would not have been possible for bringing out their kids and actually participating in the program, which is very nice, because we know mostly like parents wouldn't come out to participate. But this is one time I can say that the parents here in Bekevejo and the surrounding villages have came out to support their kids. And if you see Mr. Chilin right now, we can see a lot of mothers out here with their children and the other siblings as well. So I know this is something that is good that we had done here in Benquebeja. And like I said, we will continue this and not to stray from our topic. We do have another summer camp that will kick off immediately after this one. So this one will conclude on the 19th of August and the 25th of August kick off or another camp that will last for one week. And this one we're aiming for 100 children, which will be um, educational lecturers. And we do have a sports day and a church service, a field day trip that is planned as well. And the last day, which will be the Friday, they will be awarded with their individual certificates. Thank you.
¿Qué Vamos a sacar el barbito que entre el hijo de la clara. ¿Qué le has dado a su papá? Vení, vení. And now the older aircraft team versus the police team. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right again, we are here with Mr. Martinez, better known as Chippy, who is the coach of which team? Belize. Belize team. Tell us about this activity, Mr. Martinez. Well, it was an activity that was uh, made an invitation by the police, and then um, we agreed to participate. We are already participating in a Mundialito uh, that is uh, being done by the Sport Council from Benke. And now uh, we are participating in this activity that police are having in these uh, two weeks. How does this benefit the young people of Benke Viejo? Well, it uh, benefits a lot to the little kids because um, they are coming uh, to practice sports and nice activities. And right now they are in vacation, so there's something they can do and then after that well, they are going to be ready to go back to school. What, what, what can you tell the parents of these children who are participating well, in this I, I will tell them game. that they should be proud of their little kids that are performing here, doing their best. We are not the best team, but we are participating in uh, my team. The majority we have are family, nephews, nieces and some uh, neighbors. That we, we decide to make a team, not to win but to participate because uh, we know uh, our team is not the best, but we're trying, we try hard. We try hard to, to beat the other teams. What, Mr. Martinez, what would be your message to Belizeans across the country, knowing that there's a lot of crime and violence? What would be your message to parents and other Belizeans? Well, to educate their children uh, as they are small, right? Because uh, we have to teach them at, at home uh, good principles. Uh, start with sports, for example. Like today, we're having this activity. Um, to encourage our kids to practice sports and be honest and then um, when they grow up they're going to be uh, big adults that will serve to the country and be benefit for us. Thank you Mr. Martinez. Here we are with Miss Anita Monroy, a parent of one of these children who are participating. She has her boy here participating right there, plus her other child. Miss, tell us about the activity today and how do you feel about it? Um, well, my son loves football because his dad is a footballer and actually it's his first game today, like his first actual game. Um, these activities are, I, the, the initiative is good, I think it's, it's good. I'm not really a fan of my son playing football because I'm afraid that he gets hurt, but he's enjoying it. He's enjoying it and it's a good um, activity for parents and kids. So especially in the mornings when we have like a slight day, you know, the, the day is slight. So um, yeah, we should all encourage our kids to, to take part on the on the games. What would be your message to the parents, other parents from Benke and across Belize? My message to push forward your kids to whatever they like. Meanwhile, it's something good like football. I wouldn't mind my kid playing football, but um. Come out, support, and be there for the kids because, after all, the kids are the oh, the, the kids are enjoying it, and we are, we are, I enjoy watching the kids play because they don't they 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 are not um they are not taking the like the, the the positions you know they just run and you can see that they have fun. But it's a good thing for our community. Oh yes, and of course, is. Belize as a whole, no? As a whole, to, I think to I think cut, cut down on crime and violence. Yes, especially on that because we need to encourage our kids to to be involved in safe and, and um, healthy and healthy activities like football. Thank you. Thank you too.